Well, you know, I'm here with Dave Jones from True Green. And mm -hmm. Dave, you know, at summertime, so many things are happening, but we want our lawns to look beautiful. And so we're gonna be talking a little bit about that. Earlier today, we, we were chatting and you had mentioned three things that are really the three, okay. you know, st stepping stones to getting a good lawn. What, what are they? Essentially, the three components for, for a beautiful, lush green lawn, mowing, watering, and your fertility program. Those are the big three. So now, watering, uh, you know, at this time of year, I'm sure there's all kinds of things we have to take into consideration. You know, mm -hmm. it's the dry time of year, all of that it stuff. Is. But to get a beautiful lawn, it does take some specifics. So let's, let's chat about those. You bet. Uh, watering is, is really, the, the lawn will let you know uh, how much water it needs, essentially. Um, we have a couple of, a quick, easy tests that mm -hmm. anyone can accomplish just by, by going out on their lawn. The first thing is a step test. Very, okay. very simple. If you essentially just step on the, on the turf mm -hmm. and the turf springs back, you know that you're, you're probably in pretty good shape. If the turf stays down, then you're probably in the, in the point where you need to, to increase your watering. Because if it's, if it's full of water and the cells are full, it's going to bounce right back. back so that, that makes good sense. Exactly What's right. another uh, test we can do? The other test is seeing how much each, each person has, each system at, at home has a different uh, amount of water that's coming out, whether mm -hmm. it's uh, out of your hose uh, through a sprinkler system or an underground sprinkler system. Um, it, it, to really know how much water is being applied, the other very simple method that we can use is we call the tuna can method. Okay. Okay. Um, what we have here in this can in case I have a cat food can yes, which you the do. same way <laughs> and uh, what we do is just place this in a representative sample in the turf and just see how much water accumulates okay in the can and if you fill that can up typically twice a week you'll have a lawn that looks like this okay now you also have a, a fancy little doodad that you use to stick in the, the tuna can would work as well as, exactly. as anything yeah. what we provide our customers is, is very similar at uh, one inch two inch and we're looking at one inch is what we're what we're trying nice. to accomplish now I'm, I'm holding this tool here that frightens me a bit but this is what you guys use a homeowner wouldn't use mm -hmm. this but what do you do with it yeah this is a soil moisture probe what we do with this is whenever we have a question on what's happening and, and it might be in different parts of the lawn might have different again the irrigation might be different in, in different zones and different areas but if we want to know what's going on on subsurface, we simply pop this in up and down, ah. and you can see, you know, that we have moisture all the way through the root zone yeah, and below. That's, that's probably four inches, five inches, and it's got moisture all the way down there. I'd now, be. if I'm at home and I don't have this, mm -hmm. is there a way to test it? You bet. The uh, the other tried and true here is the shovel. shovel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we can do there, same thing. If we have, uh, just goes in very easily. Mm -hmm. We can pull back and the, and the turf won't get damaged. Yeah. It's, it's very, very hearty. And you can um, actually can see, see down in there. moisture yep. here and we can actually see that there's moisture in the root area. Well, okay, that covers water. Now the mm -hmm. second step would be mowing, I'm assuming, maintenance of the lawn itself. Big, big effect and, and really under a lot of misconceptions on mowing. Uh, the first thing uh, that, that we look at is mowing height. Mm -hmm. Three inches is ideal, mm -hmm. uh, and, and typically when you look at most lawns, you look at your neighbors, you go on the walk in the evening, look around, you probably don't see as that many lawns at three inches, but exactly. if you look at commercial properties, most of those will be at three inches. So three inches is the ideal height. Whenever you mow, only take off one third of the wow. turf. That, that's a real big, big issue, is, uh, and, uh, because what will happen if, if a homeowner goes a little lower thinking they're just going to mow once a week, so I'm going to really you know, get yeah, after it yeah. and, and, and get it taken down. Um, you're exposing, uh, you're taking too much off. You, you could possibly scalp the lawn, put the lawn into shock. Wow, so, so I, I'm assuming too then a good sharp mower blade. Would be absolutely, that's, that's a key because what will happen too is if you have a, a dull blade, you'll fray the, the top of the grass. And even if you do it, let's say you're, you're going at the right height, but with a dull blade, you'll fray the top and you'll get a brown hue as that frayed top. And then uh, I'm assuming then again that the third leg of this would be a fertilization program. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, uh, the turf needs nutrition, needs, needs to be fed. Water, nutrition uh, are, are essential. So having a, a balanced fertilizer program, something that's going to not only feed the turf, but also uh, strengthen the turf, the root zone uh, area, so it, it, it strengthens that root system so you can prevent weeds from occurring. Well, and you know, a, a healthy is always better. And mm -hmm. you guys are also, uh, you do a, a whole organic program we as do. well. 
Yeah, we, we've responded to the needs of our customers. Uh, we have uh, three different programs, but right now the newest program that we're, we're introducing in the Portland market is a full organic program. Uh, we, we find that uh, many people are, are sensitive to, uh, to products being put on the, the lawn, either through animals or pets, through kids, or, sure. or, or just uh, being, being conscious of what goes on. So we do have a fully organic program. We can come out and, and take care of that and, and not put any, any products down that, are, that are, we'd control it off. That's what the homeowner chooses. Well, you know, True Green's been around for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And if you have uh, any other questions, want more information, you go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to their website. Dave, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.